Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redmond TV. Liverpool have just lost 3-1 to Real Madrid in the Champions League quarterfinals and obviously it's not ideal and it's so easy for me to turn on the camera and it's so easy for me to just start chatting shit to you and ranting and raving and this, that and the other. I can talk about how poor the first half performance was and believe me, if you saw me on my watch along, you will see I was fuming when I was watching that first half. I was scratching my fucking eyes out but I also know them things can just... On a mad occasion, that can just happen and it happens in one of our well actually in my opinion the biggest game all season the Champions League is just a different competition it's different for many different reasons like even I've won the Premier League and Champions League very recently as a fan and maybe it has a part to play with the fact fans were there for one of them and fans weren't for the other but when we won the Champions League, it was just a different feeling based on the fact the whole of Europe is admiring your team because they know you're the best in that specific moment. But obviously, when you win the league, it's like everyone just looks at each other. There's a Farmers League. So when, I, when I'm when i watching a Champions League game against Real Madrid, that's what I live for as a football fan because it comes very rarely. It's why I don't like the idea of Super Leagues and shit because these games are supposed to mean something. And it kind of seemed like in the first half it just got to the players and they looked a little bit scared and a little bit frightened and they just didn't know what to do. It just kind of looked like they shit their pants, basically. And at the end of the day, you know, if you walk in your Mars room and you see a naked, you're going to shit yourself. But at the end of the day, we're playing Real Madrid. You've won the Champions League more recently than they have. You're not supposed to be shitting yourself like you're in that situation. You're supposed to face that situation head on. I know we've got two different centre-backs, but it weren't even their problem. The full-backs... Uh, very poor game and we're going to get into player ratings this time and the other but this was some of the especially Trent it was one of the worst performances I've seen in the opening 10 minutes we couldn't string two passes together in any area of the pitch I'd probably say it was only really the midfield and the centre-backs to an extent who could maybe not hold their head up high but hold the head up higher than other players on the pitch because Mane just kept giving the ball away to Yogo Jota in the first 20 minutes was terrible second half he became much better along with Salah Mane all throughout the game was just quiet again just kind of looks like an Origi type performance he, he gets there he tries to get on the ball but once it's there it doesn't really mean anything you know he even turns a player brilliantly at one point in the second half and it meant nothing because he never went forward he waited he was waiting for players to go round him it's like where's that pace gone because that's what really and it's not that he was a pace merchant he's, a, he's lost other, other areas of his game he doesn't seem that confident he doesn't seem like he wants to try the same thing isn't, and then you know, if you don't want to try the same things, that's okay. But sometimes when you see something isn't going right for you, it's maybe a good idea to try something new. Maybe I'm stupid. Um, I want to give credit to Real Madrid, of course. But before I do any of that, are Liverpool still in this leg? Are Liverpool still in this tie? Because like I said, I can turn on this camera. I can rant, rave about everything that's gone on today in today's game. First half performance. Even many moments in the second half. But one thing that I can't do is sit here, rant and rave and say, we're going to go out of this tie and that's 100% a fact. Because I just don't think it is. I'm not saying I think we're definitely going to go through. But this tie is not over. We can still win this. And I'm not. And you know what I'm like. I'm realistic. I'm not someone who will come on this channel. And, and I feel like at one point I probably came across as someone who just wanted views and someone who just wanted to rant so people would come back and watch my videos. Absolutely, in no way, shape or form the case. Absolutely not the case in the slightest. I speak my mind and what my mind is telling me, and it's not always right, I've got about two brain cells, but one thing that my mind is telling me is that Liverpool can still go through in this game. That second half alone taught me enough. We could have been 2-0 up in that period of time. And obviously, shoulda, coulda, woulda, motherfucker. You should have actually done it. Facts. But we've got 90 minutes to rectify it. Let's look at the fact that, even notoriously, and of course, different circumstances, but let's even look at the fact, notoriously, Liverpool are the kings over two legs. And we actually learnt a lot in that game that we probably shouldn't have. We probably overestimated players like Benjamin. We probably didn't uh, test their defence enough with the fact they didn't have Ramos and Varane. We didn't have as much as an eye on Vinicius Jr. as we most certainly should have. We should have been more cautious of him. You know, people have been saying, oh, he's been underperforming all season, hasn't been doing the same bit. Well, today he came to our team and just absolutely tore us a new one. So we've got to be aware of that in the second leg. 
Another thing, again, should be common sense, but we know this for the second leg. Don't give Modric and Cruz any space. Don't be so stupid and so naive on the counter-attack because that's what we was in so many moments and that's what lost us the game today. But we can beat Real Madrid, even if they're a better team than us, which today we kind of found out they was. They played better than us in stages of that game. But when we actually thought, you know what, when we actually grew a pair of bollocks and we thought, you know what, we're going to go for this, we actually went and scored some goals or we actually got some chances. The first half, we had no attempts. Do you know how shit that is? Yet, I'm still here saying we can go through and I'm not just going off emotion. I'm not being a passion merchant. I'm not thinking slightly about Barcelona 4-0. Because I can easily say, oh, but look at that game. We never had Firmino. We never had Salah. We still went through. But still, though, like, we don't have Virgil van Dijk and we don't have Joe Gomez. There's no point in making comparisons. But do I think, with the circumstances that are presented to Liverpool right now, we can still go through? Like, dislike all you want. This is just my opinion. I absolutely believe we can. I believe we've got enough there. Based on what I'm seeing right now, we could get injuries and that can change. But based on what I'm seeing right now, I believe we can go through this fixture. No doubt about it. I don't know why. Maybe I need to lower that confidence side of me down. But I'm just going to go with that, mate. Because we've had a poor season. Real Madrid have had a poor season. We should have done more. But we made mistakes. It's actually better that we made mistakes... Like Trent's second goal and Allison should have got a stronger hand for the third, for example. All these, th all these things that came together, we know that now, so we can think about that going into the second leg. As for player ratings, Allison, he has to get a five for me, and it's not that overall he has a bad game, but it was at the second or third goal. It might have even been the first. Vin one of Vinicius Junior's goals, where Allison uh, got a hand to it, but he should have got a stronger hand. I think it went through O's and Kabak's legs. And it just should have been better. It just It's weird to see Alisson doing these little mistakes every once in a while now because he just never done that before. That would have been his bread and butter, if you see, even at the start of this season. So, a five, I'm not going to say a 5. I'll say a 5.5 5 because outside of that, I don't think he had a terrible game. But that was um, that that just kind of frustrated me. Left-back Robbo, he'll get it. He'll get a 6.5. There was a better spell in the opening 20 minutes of the second half, but... That first 10 minutes for me, Robbo was just... And it was because we kept putting it down on the left-hand side, but still, I just don't think Robbo fully turned up in this game like he usually does. Kept giving the ball away. He was quite... He just seemed frustrated in moments, and it was what it was, but not terrible. I'll give him a six. Trent, he has to get a four, three, maybe, you know. It's a weird one with Trent, because I was even saying in the game, Jordan, the game that... I feel like this season is going to massively benefit Trent. And I still stand by that. I feel like, you know, he's got the mentality to where he's going to learn from this. He's going to let it make him instead of break him. And if he can do that, then absolutely marvellous. But, you know, what I'm basically trying to say is it's good to see that he's getting them lessons out the way now. Because that's what he needs to do. Get them out the way now. You don't need to worry about them in the future. Don't worry about the future when it gets there. You worry about just rectifying and getting better defensively because we know that's what he needs to do. One-on-ones, he needs to improve. When it comes to man marking, he needs to improve. And in, in high-pressure situations, like the second goal today where he basically assisted the Senso, you've got to be more composed. But that just comes with experience and, and more experience there's on younger shoulders basically and that's what Trent is just going to need to go through he's got a lot of experience as it is but I do believe he's going to get better he's shown even to this point that he can get better if you look at him now defensively and three years ago it, he's much better he hasn't got Van Dijk he hasn't got Henderson there's a few reasons there I don't feel like we should all be jumping on Trent to say shit because he's not and we didn't have that energy for him against Arsenal when he had a Bamiang in his back pocket all game again Arteta sat back for that game fair enough but he still there was moments where there was one on ones and he dealt with it fine it's just about getting them high pressure situations so Trent will get a four but I'm not jumping on his arse or anything at all mate because it's one of them things that you'll just learn from it centre backs Kabach and Phillips I'll give Phillips a seven and I'll give Kabach a 7.5 I thought Kabach was immense in that first half didn't give Benzema a sniff and Nathaniel Dini Van Phillips just still done what Nathaniel Dini Van Phillips does so we'll give him that and I know he can see the three goals but there was none that was directly their mistakes and to be honest it seemed like Klopp got it wrong in terms of how high he was playing them centre-backs and he was just kind of naive in that front. So, no direct individual mistakes is basically what I'm trying to say. Midfield, 
Will, so Genie, Cater, and Fabinho started, which was a bit of an odd one seeing Cater start. I'm not gonna lie. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Fabinho seven. I wouldn't say he made any direct mistakes, but I wouldn't say he was fantastic. He weren't the same for Fabinho, but that was also due to the fact the players around him couldn't actually complete a pass. He couldn't touch a ball. It was mad. So Fabinho will get a seven. Genie will get a six point five, and G. Um, sorry, Nabi. But Thiago played more of the game. Naby will get a five. I thought he tried a few things, but he just didn't. He looked out of place. It was a weird game for Klopp to just throw him into. Thiago came on and done much, much better. I'll give Thiago a seven. I thought Thiago was actually good today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Came on, brought a bit of a level-headed experience to the game. He knows the Champions League. It's his competition. He dictates Champions League finals. So, that was his game. I don't know why Jürgen Klopp didn't see that straight off. I know he has to rest him, but we've got Aston Villa on the weekend. Rest him for that game, not this game against Real Madrid. Front three, I'm going to give them all a low rating. Mane's getting the lowest. He's going to get a four. Diogo Jota will get the lowest, but with that opening spell of the second half, I'm going to give him a five. And then Salah's going to get the highest of them all with a six. Still, though, all very, very poor. And even when he gives Salah a six, I'm only doing that because I think he was a point better than Jota and two points better than Mane, but I don't think he was a six. So I'll give Mane a three, Jota a four, and Salah a five because all of them were still shit. All of them. But Salah, especially in the second half, turns up more, tried to create things, got the goal, of course. And um, yeah, it just was what it was. Manager, I'll give the manager a four. I just don't understand that Naby Keita decision. I didn't understand a few of the subs. But it weren't directly his fault though, people. So I don't want to make it seem like that I am. I just thought he could have most certainly done better. That being said, the team as a whole should have done better. And we need to improve for that second leg. If what I'm saying is true, Liverpool can still win this thing. If that is true, we need to see that in the second leg. Then 20 minutes to the second half, we need to do that for the whole of the... We just need to go at them and not be shitting ourselves, is what I'm basically trying to say. It was it was horrible to see that, man, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, also, shout out to everyone who came into the watch-along. Honestly, mate, means the world to everyone who tunes in, because I weren't going to be doing a watch-along today, uh, being one of them things where... Just, you know how life can get, you know what I mean? And obviously, with the fact, like, the lockdown and that's getting to people, it was just one of them days where I was chocky, my mood was just a bit low and I weren't going to do the watch-along. Done the watch-along and felt so much better for it. So I'm sorry if this has kind of seemed like I'm stumbling over my words. I'm a little bit tired. It's been a long day. It's not the best result either, with all due respect. But I'm not in the position where I want to rant because I don't want to rant and I don't think a rant is warranted, I think. We all just go to sleep. And we pray and hope for the next leg. But let me know, can Liverpool still go through? Or am I just chatting marbles? Let me know in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, people. Make sure you smash a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in a bit. Peace out.